my friends and welcome to Monday. Monday is my day again. I almost forgot it was my day um, because it's just been busy. Like I just, I had work from 9 to 3 and then I went running with Donovan and then I came home real quick to eat dinner and then take a shower before I went to FHE, Family Home Evening, which was until 9-ish um, from 7. And then I, uh, got home and then was talking to Danny until now and now is like 10:30 almost and I'm gonna go to bed because I have work tomorrow and earlier um, but just give you a few quick things and respond to some of yours uh, Becky it's okay if you don't have time to read um, I haven't finished life of pie yet so whatever uh, you know we'll, we'll work it out but uh, if you can I would love to have you join us um, or we could wait, that's fine. You know, like you guys kind of have been waiting for me, especially since it's my turn to pick. So, we could wait. <sighs> don't feel pressured to read it if you don't have time. We can always just do it later. Or I can do it by myself. Either way. <laughs> um, we're doing zombies tomorrow, yes? Uh, because I think that's what I remember. And I don't have much to do tomorrow evening. So that should be fine. Um, you know, it wasn't like this evening where there was a billion things to do. But, uh, yeah. <sighs> Tired. Um, I had a really good day at work today. Uh, my students were just really good. I was teaching a sixth grade math class, and my last three periods, almost no one talked at all, like, ever. Unless they were talking to me about a problem they were having telling me they were done with their work um, which is amazing for sixth graders like you have no idea how much those kids like to talk and they were just so quiet it was beautiful <laughs> I never used to love silence as much as I do now <laughs> mostly just with the children though uh, but yeah it was it was great and they all did their work and it was just it was wonderful I've never had such easy compliance before with children, and it was great. Uh, so, did that. And then I got home. Or I, sorry, I'm really tired. Um, I got home really quick so that I could change and rest just for a little bit. And then I went over to Donovan's, and we ran, kind of for a little while, but both of my knees have been hurting, like, it feels like the tendons on my knees are like, Rrr. so I think we're gonna take a couple days off running, which irritates me, because I feel like all I've done since, like, the first two weeks of this month is take days off running, because I keep getting sick, or having stomach problems, or leg problems, or something, and it's just, like, bothering me. <laughs> Ugh, but, I don't know. But, you know, better safe than sorry, so we'll just do something else exercise because I'm still determined to exercise. Just maybe I'll have to do ones without my legs. So maybe to be doing more, um, like, core stuff, like planks and sit-ups, uh, which just sound terrible even, suggesting, uh, and, like, more upper body strength, so, like, push-ups and, like, curls and stuff. But yeah, hopefully my legs will be fine. <sighs> Tomorrow, I shouldn't have to walk around as much because it's an autism class, so I don't have to do the walkabout because their classes are much more open. It's kind of fun when you go into an autism class, especially in elementary school, because they kind of look like a playground. Like, they just have a whole bunch of toys and it's really colorful. It's nice. Um, it's kind of like a kindergarten class, only for older kids. It's fun. Um, so yeah, and I have work every day this week. What? It's weird. Um, but I'm trying to get as much work in as I can because after this week, I only have three days that I can work next week. Uh, and then I have... Uh, I'm going home. Uh, I fly into Moses Lake on a Thursday. Surprise! Since I always fly on the day of my videos. Um, although I'm coming back on a Sunday evening, so that's weird, <laughs> since, you know, you'd expect it to be a Monday, or a Thursday, uh, but yeah, so, 
that should be good. I'm really excited to go home um, and to get to see my family. I'm going to see Linda get married. Um, I think she's getting married on a Thursday. Maybe I'll vlog her wedding. That would be weird, but I could do it. <laughs> uh, that would be fun, though. Maybe I should do that so I can remember it forever. Well, I probably still will, but, you know, like, I can see what is happening. That would be cool. I might do that. Um, or maybe just give you a look around the place, maybe, like, before everyone gets there. Something. Um, Haley, I'm loving your videos. Becky, yours as well. I don't mean to, like, say, Haley, I love your videos, Becky. Mar. Like, Becky, I like your videos, too. There just have been less of them. Haley, has, you've been bombarding us with videos, which I'm totally okay with, but I'm, like, barely keeping up. So I'm glad that, uh, the, the current campaign is almost done for Fallout New Vegas, and I'm excited that you decided to do the next one and show it to us, because I want to see the big, evil, creepy monster demons that are supposed to be worse than Death Claws. Worse than Death Claws. Um, Becky, if you didn't know, Death Claws are the hardest thing to kill on uh, Fallout New Vegas, besides, like, the impossible to kill things, like, that are literally impossible to kill, like Victor. So, he's a big robot, but he's important to the story, so you can't kill him. Um... So yeah, it's uh, they're fun, <laughs> and Cazadors are like up there in the worst as well. So when when they talk about Cazadors, you should be filled with a sense of fear. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, I'm enjoying both of your videos. Uh, sorry, I'm trying to look for jobs. Enjoying your guys' videos, your regular videos, and your gaming videos. They've both been great. Uh, I did not get that job for the summer teaching reading that I applied for. Um, they sent me an email that said, sorry, not interested. Um, which is fine. I'll just find something else to do, I guess. Um, I did go to this website called coolworks.com and it's uh, for finding jobs for the summer and stuff, but most of them are in cold places, mostly Alaska, but one of them is in Kenai, and I was like, I could live in Kenai with Haley for the summer, that would be cool. Not like with you, with you, like in your house, but like uh, in Kenai, that would be awesome, right? Um, yeah, besides that, I don't know, it was fun watching Buffy with you, Haley. Becky, we should watch Buffy sometime, maybe on the phone, that would be fun. Uh, I enjoy that very much. And, yeah, I hope you guys are doing well. I need to go to bed, so I will talk to you later. Bye-bye.